Filipino instructor of mine uh, during my teaching credential program um, gave me this line that has stuck with me since. He, uh, he said, long after facts and information have faded, attitudes will remain. That is part of our charge, part of our goal, is that we want every individual to develop fully in, in all the dimensions of their being. That it's not just, you know, information, learning how, learning this information or learning this particular skill to fit into the job market. You know, that, that no, that part of reclaiming our humanity is reclaiming all of what feels important as a human being and, um, and all of these different dimensions of who we are. And so I think part of the change that, that is happening and that needs to continue to happen is that we include more of what it means to be fully human in what it is that we attend to uh, in our colleges and universities. And specifically at the community college where we have so many uh, folks who are first time um, going to college and, and drawing from lower income communities uh, and which are again, historically marginalized communities, our courses that are the most impactful or most powerful and effective are not those courses just where students learn a bunch of facts about the history uh, of this particular community and, uh, and of social change movements. No, it's like in the class itself, you know, there are small familia groups, you know, small groups of students who stay with each other throughout the quarter, or if it's a series of courses, you know, throughout multiple quarters, where people ha have a chance to name, this is what's going on with me right now. This is what I'm having to hold uh, that's going on at home, you know, that what I'm thinking about in the world, that, that's at the source of my anxiety, the source of my depression. You know, where in my class, 40% of the students are, are, are struggling with anxiety or depression in some way. And that's those who actually name it. So we've got to be able to respond by creating spaces for that for our students. So I think that is actually uh, part of the next generation of where ethnic studies um, in community change uh, areas need to move is is to rec reclaiming that part of our humanity, not just individually, but again, collectively.